Today I'm going to show you six different ways how you can boost your logo designs right now. So I thought I might help you guys today on boosting your logo designs, but not only just your logos. This can apply to many different kinds of design. So the first tip is to actually mirror your design. You take the design that you're currently working on and then flip it either horizontally or vertically. Now we do this as designers because sometimes we can get too enthralled and captivated into the actual meaning of the text or the meaning of the symbol. But once we flip it, it becomes abstract and it doesn't have much meaning anymore. And we notice the actual structure of the design itself without any meaning. This means we could be more objective visually and mentally and we can see imperfections and areas that we need to work on in the logo design. So the second tip on how to improve your designs and boost your logos right now is actually stop relying on two or three fonts throughout your entire creative catalog. I've been guilty of this myself and it's easy to you know, have success with the one or two fonts and then have them as your go-to fonts. But think about it, imagine if every logo design that was ever made only used two or three fonts. That would be a pretty grim outlook for design in general. So I'm not saying go crazy and start experimenting with all kinds of crazy fonts, but I am saying, you know, crawl out of your comfort zone a little bit and do look at other fonts out there that will work for the logo. But of course, you have to keep in mind the context of the logo and the brand, and the font needs to convey the message of the brand as well as the symbol does too. So the third tip today on how to boost your graphic designs and logo designs right now is to actually font pair. And this is a really easy and a really, really cool way to boost and to improve your logo designs right now. Font pairing is when you have two different fonts that come together in a marriage of harmony and they work as a design team really well. Now a really easy way to font pair is to just use a serif and a sans serif font. But like I said in the previous point, the fonts that you choose do need to be relevant to the style and the message of the logo itself. I actually made a video on font pairing and typography in general, and I'm going to link that down in the description box below. But another quick way to font pair is to find some kind of contrast between two fonts. Maybe a thick sans serif and a thin sans serif font together. They have contrast, but they will probably work together well when you choose the right kind of font. Now the fourth tip that I have for you today on boosting your logos is one that I mentioned in my golden rules and icon design. And icons are pretty much logos in some respects. And that is to use geometric shapes instead of using the pen tool. The two main reasons for doing this are firstly, it's a lot faster for you to grab geometric shapes and create the designs and symbols you need using those shapes. And also you can't go wrong with pre-made shapes because they're perfect. You know, they're already pre-made, they're already perfect. So start using the shape builder tool and compile shapes together to make symbols and also the Pathfinder tool as well is really good in this instance. It saves you hassle and time and you know headaches when you're trying to draw a logo with the pen tool. I'm not a fan of the pen tool in this situation either. And if I can, I do use geometric shapes to design my logos. Now the fifth tip today on boosting your logo designs is to make sure you zoom out every now and then and have a look at your design. Much like an artist would when they step back from their easel, you need to take a look at your design without being zoomed into the max so you can see the full scope of what's going on here. But also we kind of get carried away when, we, when we're when we designing something and we get in the zone and we're zoomed into our screens. You forget the application of the logo itself. You know, sometimes it's going to be on a business card and it's going to be scaled right down. So you need to keep making sure you look at your logo at different levels of being zoomed in or out throughout the design process. And the last tip today on boosting your logo designs is to be simple. Is to simplify your work. Now, as graphic design advances and you know people are using their mobile devices more and more and more, it's a fact that design is becoming more simplified in general. And I think a really good tip on how to boost your logo designs going into the future as a designer is to basically simplify what you're doing. So if you think you've got a solid design or you think you've got an idea, take that idea and then simplify it down a little bit in three different variations and see what you can come up with. Less is often more when it comes to logo design and graphic design in general. So yeah, there are my six different ways to boost your graphic designs right now. Let me know what you thought of today's video down in the comment section below. 